demonstrates balance and harmony and what the dancer does on one side, he does on the other side and to create that balance. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Kyle Harris from the Men's Dress Dance. Two stars for Kyle.
thing you say, ladies and gentlemen, the louder you cheer, the harder they dance here. The way she goes. A lot of these dancers, ladies and gentlemen, the beaver that they wear, the, the feathers as well, a lot of it gets handed down to many families. And they take pride in the beaver that their, their families do, the colors that they use. Uh, they try to use the four direction colors to represent the, the four creatures that inhabit Mother Earth, the four directions and the four phases of life, as well as the four seasons. Our next dancer here, ladies and gentlemen, uh, there's uh, two young fellas we'd like to introduce at this time. Mr. Byron Whitefish goes by the name Wowie. Step out there, our Team Boys traditional dancer as well. Mr. Brendan Joseph, my traditional dancer right here. Can big round of applause for these young warriors. A traditional dancer gives a vivid picture as a warrior on the hunt. To these gentlemen here many times, these are our sacred carriers of many of our ceremonies. Our traditional dancers are very respected to the amount of eagle feathers that they have earned and they carry. They wear the one traditional bustle, usually a shield and a staff. Ladies and gentlemen, here you go with the men's traditional dance. dancing at a young age and this is how we, we share our, our culture with our young people to bring them in the dancing circle. Also for those of you that are trying to get fit out there and doing all these programs, this powwow dancing is also known as Indian aerobics. So really good way to get in shape. I know my relative over here, Burton, is a chicken dancer. He started the powwow season last season. He was 200 pounds. He's down to 175. He lost 25 pounds dancing chicken. Big round of applause for Burton as well. His outfit is getting prepared right now, but he'll be back this spring. So our fancy shawl dancers, ladies and gentlemen, these are, uh, represent the butterflies and uh, the birds as they pollinate in the springtime and bring new life. And, and here we have our young ladies going to bring life into the gymnasium right now. Big River Cree, Lake's fancy shawl.
that we're going to perform here, ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who travel around the Pau, our social dance at the Pau is our intertribal, a chance for all of our dancers to dance together. Let me give two starts for our, our dance. I'm going to big round of applause for the Big River Dancers, right here for the Big River First Nation. And following this song here as well, we'd like to ask our dancers to make their way out there and ask some of you people to join us in, in a, a round dance here to commemorate the Christmas season of sharing with family. At this time, we'll start off with our intertribal and move forward into our round dance. So Big River Cree, intertribal song for our dancers.
Gentlemen, go out there and grab a partner. We're going to make a big circle here. One big round dance for the elders, for our grandmothers, for our mushrooms, and our cookums that are here tonight. That is the reason why we're here to celebrate this Christmas meal. And we're going to do it the best way to know how in the winter months as First Nations people. We share each other's company, our social dances, our round dances. So with that, one of the premier round dance singers that we have coming from our own community, Big River Cree, show us the way.
singers and the Big River Dancers. We thank you for our host shows and our cookers for having us here as your entertainment this evening. Hi, hi, you can give you a Merry Christmas and we'll see you again. Crazy Lakes Power Can, doing a wonderful job for us. Uh, thank you, Cal. Merry Christmas to you and your loved ones. Happy New Year. Here 